Hello, I'm Trish Kelly, and I'm honored to have served as your mayor this year, a year that has provided unique challenges, but also has shown how resilient and strong this community is, even in the face of uncertainty and adversity. Throughout the year, we have engaged the public to embrace the best of Mission Viejo and envision its possibilities to form and grow essential partnerships for the betterment of our community and to lay the foundation for brighter days ahead. Economic development has always been a hallmark of our agenda. Our businesses are the backbone of our community. To help local businesses survive and recover from the devastating toll of the pandemic, we have proactively supported them in numerous ways, including launching small business grant programs. I'm happy to report that so far we have awarded nearly $843,000 to 68 Mission Viejo businesses. For economic development of our businesses, it is essential that our city is fiscally sound and your council and city staff have worked hard to weather any storm. Through careful spending cuts and sound financial planning, combined with strong sales tax revenues, rising home values, and an active construction market, we ended the fiscal year with a surplus. General fund actual operating expenditures were $3.1 million less than we had budgeted, and general fund actual operating revenues exceeded budgeted estimates by $3.3 million. Together, these provided a $6.4 million surplus. After planning for ongoing operations and projects, we have an operating surplus of $4.1 million. We added this surplus to the general fund reserves, raising the reserves total to $31 million, equating to 48% of general fund revenue. For fiscal year 21-22, we adopted a balanced budget providing for a $76.7 million operating budget and a $10.8 million capital improvement budget. To better serve our residents and to be responsible stewards of public assets, the city has been active in securing grant awards and other proceeds to contribute funding for an array of important projects. More good news is that the city maintained its AAA bond rating from Standard & Poor's, reflecting Mission Viejo's economic stability, strong financial performance, and good management policies and practices. It is important to note that out of 482 cities in the state of California, only 34 received this AAA rating. It is truly impressive that Mission Viejo is among the 7% of all California cities to earn this rating. It is also inspiring to see new business activity throughout town. With roughly 12,000 square feet of new retail and restaurant space, the Viejo Court project is taking shape near the intersection of Alicia and Charlinda. Off of Crown Valley Parkway at Medical Center Road, construction of an Amazon Fresh grocery store and raising Cane's Eatery in the Mission Viejo Gateway is nearly complete. And the shops at Mission Viejo recently welcomed a new 98,000 square foot Dick's Sporting Goods. Soon, folks visiting the Mission Viejo Town Center on Marguerite Parkway will find a revitalized 57,000 square foot shopping center that will be known as Local. Here locally in Mission Viejo and throughout the world, COVID-19 has limited options for gatherings this year. So our city staff worked creatively to host events while also devising safe reopening plans for our recreation and tennis facilities, sports fields, Marguerite Aquatics Complex, Community Center, and Library. Some events took place in drive-through formats, such as our Senior Appreciation Days and Parking Lot Trivia Challenges, while others were held in virtual and hybrid formats, like the Oso Fit Virtual 5K and Drive-Through Health Fair, Comic Fest, Writers Present, and the Memorial Day Ceremony. 
From the onset of the pandemic, our library initiated a contactless curbside pickup service, which to date has provided more than 22,000 books to patrons who check them out online. As in-person services resumed, our city experienced an enormous jump in registration for summer camps, classes, and programs in tennis, pickleball, and swimming, as well as story times, concerts at the Pataki Center, and events like the Fall Jam, Haunt of Halloween, and the Veterans Day Ceremony. After a virtual walk against drugs in 2020, residents also flocked to the 33rd annual Walk Against Drugs in October, which was hosted by the city and the sheriff's department. In a change from years past, this time the walk began and ended along the Oso Creek Trail, where 13 activity stations were set up so participants could watch informational videos by scanning QR codes with their phones. We heard from countless event goers who enjoyed this unique format and spending more time on the trail. To make many of these types of inclusive events and programs possible, we teamed up with outstanding local agencies like the Spirit League to offer youth and adult sports for individuals with disabilities. This was part of our city's expanding Special Needs Adapting Programming, or SNAP, initiative. For people facing food insecurity, we joined forces with Second Harvest Food Bank for the drive through Park at Market and sponsored food drives to benefit local organizations like Stand Up for Kids, Families Forward, Family Assistance Ministry, South County Outreach, and Crime Survivors Food Pantry Support. We also partnered with Saddleback Valley Unified School District, Capistrano Unified School District, and Saddleback Church to collect and distribute food to the community. Another great partnership our city has continued to embrace for the last 15 years is with our adopted Marines in Headquarters Battalion, 1st Marine Division at Camp Pendleton. Mission Viejo adopted Headquarters Battalion in 2006 and formed the Marines and Sailors Adoption Committee at that time. This committee of volunteers does tremendous work to support the battalion including raising funds by efforts such as the Tee It Up for Marines golf tournament, sending weekly care packages to troops overseas, the Adopt-a-Marine program, providing toys for Marines children during the holidays, offering necessities for expectant families, and emergency monetary assistance during times of need. I'm also happy to share today that our Animal Services Center, which serves five South County cities, adopted more than 500 homeless animals to local homes. We returned nearly 300 lost pets to their owners and managed 22,000 field efforts this year. I applaud the great work our shelter does every day as well as throughout the state via its Mission for Home Rescue program. Pets are saved from overcrowded shelters and brought to our area to find their forever homes. Over the last year, more than 200 animals and their new families have benefited from this program, and they are seeing brighter days ahead. When we talk about beneficial programs and projects, we can simply look at the state of our infrastructure. Our city works hard to maintain our infrastructure while proactively keeping costs down. Over this past year, 160 residential streets and 22 lane miles of arterial roadways, including Santa Margarita Parkway and portions of Marguerite and Los Alisos have been resurfaced. The grant-funded project at the intersection of Marguerite and Geronimo added turn lanes to reduce congestion and to improve safety. Grant funding was also used to install automated retractable screens in 60 storm drain catch basins to help keep debris out of the city's natural waterways. To take advantage of dirt from local construction projects, the city entered into a no-cost agreement for importing and grading dirt to create a super pad and facilitate future expansion of our popular Curtis Park on Olympiad. 
The city also partnered with Moulton Nagel Water District on an important project for the southern part of town. 40-year-old water piping under the I-5 had to be moved because of OCTA's freeway expansion project. So new water lines were installed that significantly increased the capacity for drinking and recycled water used by Mission Hospital, Saddleback College, and all Moulton Nagel customers in our city. As you can see, partnerships make us stronger and lead to brighter days ahead. A perfect example is our partnership with the Santa Margarita Water District that is making way for a major and exciting project for Mission Viejo. The Water District plans to replace the old water treatment facility near La Paz along the Oso Creek Trail with a much needed new facility that will greatly increase capacity and enhance efficiency while also reducing the operation's footprint. Since the plant is located above Oso Creek and across from the village center, reducing its square footage is an important benefit. This area is one of the most picturesque spots in our city and will be transformed into a stunning event space to host exhibitions, concerts, and other community functions. In fact, I'm pleased to report that this project is part of the bold, visionary action the city is taking to revitalize our downtown core. To help address the economic fallout from the pandemic and reinvest in our community, the city approved the financing for the purchase of the former Steinmark property in the village center. This is an instrumental step toward implementing the community-driven core area vision plan and converting the former Steinmart into a walkable paseo and incredible entry that connects to Oso Creek Trail as well as more restaurants, shops, and cultural activities. Embracing the creek at the village center is something this community has endorsed for years and will usher in a vibrant future. It will begin next year with the cleaning and enhancement of the creek which flows between La Paz and Marguerite. Stay tuned to our city's news page, weekly e-newsletter, and official social media platforms for exciting updates. Speaking of updates, several city facilities were upgraded this year for the benefit of our community. Mission Viejo residents place great value on our many wonderful parks, which are enjoyed by all of our residents and have become a hallmark of our city and an enhancement to our quality of life. Mission Viejo has 53 parks, which is more than all of our surrounding city's parks all combined. As they age, the city has committed to renovating one or more parks per year. This year, the playground at Florence Joyner Olympiad Park received new equipment and a rubberized play surface for the enjoyment of the kids and families. Our two-year budget provides for the renovation of two parks, Coronado Park for this year and Madrid Four Park for next year, including adding shade structures over the play equipment. Oso Creek Golf Course, which the city purchased in 2019, has received many improvements, including landscaping, patio, clubhouse, restaurant, restroom improvements, all provided through golf revenues. To enhance visual messages to our community, we replaced the 15-year-old electronic marquee at La Paz and Marguerite. Parks and facilities throughout the town were improved by landscape projects conducted by scout groups, churches, and generous residents donating their time and efforts to help beautify this community. If you've been to our Animal Services Center, you know the Pet Path is one of the most beautiful hidden jewels in the city. This year, a new barn was constructed at the end of the pathway and that will one day serve as a memorable event space for special occasions. Turning again to Oso Creek Golf Course to envision the potential future of the golf course and the public space, we retained a consultant to explore possible uses of the area that would benefit our community. After extensive public outreach, listening sessions, and virtual public workshops, the ideas were presented to the Planning and Transportation Commission 
and the City Council for future consideration. Short and long-term ideas include a new event space at the golf course, additional parking and clubhouse expansion, new Oso Creek Trail amenities, and possibly a trails cafe, and hillside farming along a stretch of the trail. Some of these concepts could be presented at future council meetings for potential development in the coming years. We are seeing brighter days ahead for our local schools, which welcomed students back to the classroom, some with new facilities. Take Newhart Middle School, for example, which opened a dynamic new STEAM building focusing on science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics instruction. The new 22,475 square foot two-story building features two science labs, three science classrooms, three math classrooms, an art media video production lab, and career technical education lab. The city collaborated with Capistrano Unified School District on this project, providing a portion of the funding from a combination of the Melorus CFD 87-1 funds, Mission Viejo Redevelopment Funds, and State Bond Funds. Over at Saddleback College, a new state-of-the-art stadium opened to the energetic crowds. The new field can seat 8,000 fans and can host football, soccer, lacrosse, and track and field events. In the area of housing, the city completed extensive work to create a new housing element. Cities are required by state law to prepare these elements every eight years to plan for existing and projected housing needs, including incorporating the city's share of the state-mandated regional housing needs assessment. This required inventory was approved and forwarded to the state after extensive public outreach and community work at Planning and Transportation Commission and City Council meetings. New housing projects are also taking shape in the city. Construction is underway on the 166,000 square foot Morningstar assisted living facility in the Avery Plaza. Amid a steady stream of buyers, Shea Homes Projects, Neo and Haven, off of Los Alisos, welcomed their first homeowners this year. Just off El Toro Road, the Trumark Homes Project began grading work. Construction is expected to take place next year for development of a 6.36 acre site with 91 units. Ladies and gentlemen, when people think about Mission Viejo, they think about our continual safe city ranking, pristine parks, award-winning schools, family events and entertainment, Olympic history, Lake Mission Viejo, and our high quality of life. It is these attributes and more that led to Money Magazine ranking Mission Viejo among the 50 best places to live in America. We're proud to be the only Southern California city to have made this distinguished list. I agree with Money Magazine that Mission Viejo is one of the best places to live in America. This does not happen by accident, but through careful planning to maintain and enhance our quality of life. I thank my council colleagues, Mayor Pro Tem Wendy Bucknam, Council Member Brian Goodell, Councilmember Greg Raths and Councilmember Ed Sachs for their proactive and incredible work in weathering the storms, advancing economic development, improving facilities, and maintaining our wonderful quality of life in Mission Viejo. Indeed, we have much to be proud of here, and I'm grateful for those who have contributed so much to make Mission Viejo one of the top cities in which to live in our nation. As you know, this year began with much uncertainty and isolation, but during the past few months, we have again enjoyed some of our special events and gatherings. I was inspired this summer during the Prelude in the Park and Symphony event, where thousands of us were able to gather once again on the Village Green. We enjoyed amazing performances by Pacific Symphony. We reflected on how we fared these past months and we collectively celebrated brighter days ahead. Thanks to the admirable work of so many people like you in our community, 
The state of our city is strong. Our future is strong. And those brighter days are here. Thank you.